Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. I didn't join my Jakob the Lord of Malt. Today, looking at a kind of meadow beer. Um, kind of almost Halloween themed beer. Yeah. It actually is, but we're kind of too lazy to do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not Halloween yet, so we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. No. We're um, good. <laughs> this is from Oakshire Brewing Company in, uh, in Oregon. Uh, let's see if I can see where in Oregon it was. It was in Eugene, Oregon. And this is their Hellshire 1. Their first beer released in the Hellshire series. This was released back in 2010. Uh, Jameson told us this was, it, this was kind of a whale. I had no idea. Oh, it. I just me neither. loved the label and thought it was interesting. So we got and this just, as a trade. And, and I, I just did. thought, uh, well. Barrel aged barley wine, let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a bourbon barrel aged barley wine on 10%. I mean, that label is just freaking awesome. It's a little boring, but whatever. What? That is cool. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, it's no, it's, it compels you. It's, it's no Nils Bohr, but whatever. <laughs> it's very, the writing is very tiny. You can't almost can't read read it. And it's a, a weird, weird font. font. Yeah. But it says deep within the recesses of the alcoves and ant chambers of Oakshire Brewing lies another realm. It's a place where carefully fermented beers are laid to rest in oaken sarcophagi. They slumber. For eons that emerge as wholly new and unique entities, fueling the malformed creatures that populate those splashed, splashed and eldritched wait, wastes. This place is Hellshire. <laughs> this is Hellshire One is an American barley wine, ale aged for nine months in freshly emptied bourbon barrels. Notes of vanilla, coconut, oak, and bourbon intertwine with the beer's complex malt and hop character. It's ready to enjoy now and can be cellared cool and dry for several years. Cheers! Matt Van Vick, brewmaster. Okay, so we've got the Oakshire Hellshire one poured, and that definitely looks like a bar barley wine. Yeah, there's some kind of uh, there's some kind of uh, hop, oh, hop uh, yeast uh, haze. Uh, oh. Yeah, horse yeah, is a lot darker than mine, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just oh, no, yeah. eight in the light. <laughs> yeah, but it's a dark, dark, dark amber yeah. kind of color, kind of some reddish notes. What a nice, awesome head. Yeah, really nice head on it. Like two finger on mine, kind of two and a half on yours. Of uh, what'd you say, beige? Yeah, beige, beige. off white head, off white beige. Yeah, yeah she got the aroma. Yeah. Whoa, mm. uh, really nice. Oh, it's got the best at wine gun, like mm. English traditional English. It's since it's from twenty ten, you don't smell any hops in it. No, at all. and it's already been aged before that. It was also aged nine months in bourbon yeah. barrels, so I don't know why they talk about hops on there. But really nice oaky bourbony. Yeah, some it. raisins as well. Yeah, definitely raisins. Um, what were, what was the ABV on it? Ten percent. Ten percent. Brown sugar notes, prunes, nice vanilla, oaky. Kind of a little bit of coconut. It's got some really uh, nice dark, dark fruit aromas. Yeah, intense yeah. kind of uh, fruity caramel. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of that buttery, butterscotchy oh, yeah. kind of aroma. I got, I get like this sensation of oak. Hmm. I don't know if. You <laughs> well, it is very oaky, but it smells. It smells like a really nice barley wine. I've never heard of this brewery before, and or anything, but this the aroma is off to a good start. So yeah, yeah that's good to taste. Cheers. Whoa, that's so oaky. Holy crap. That's like chewing on wood. That is one of the most oak forward barley wines I've ever had. Holy crap. And you can feel that this has been bitter as well. Yeah. It has that kind of, yeah. Wow, it's bitter. Still. And it still has that kind of tea leaf flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's from 2010, this is one of the, that is just insane with the oak quality. But even though it's got so much oak, it's not super dry. No. Which is actually kind of nice. It has that soft, silky kind of uh, touch to it. This definitely feels like it's been an American barley wine when it was fresh. Yeah. But it has, it has that definitely super bitter flavor. And you can taste that it has a lot of hop profile. Yeah. I'm sure this has been a big, bitter bomb of a beer Huge when they just beer. released it. Because <laughs> it's got so much bitter, kind of that tea leaf yeah. flavor. Wow, super oaky. I mean, that's a, an almost like charred oak in there too. Some of the bourbon notes as well. Some vanilla components. Some coconut is more light. It's I think it's there is coconut, but it's more vanilla. Um, 
And some caramel and dark caramel, toffee. Caramel, dark toffee. Uh, that tea leaf like flavor, some dark fruits, yes. some plum figgy. Yeah, there's a kind of burnt note to it as well. Yeah, kind of. But I, I think it might be the alcohol. I'm yeah. not sure. Well, I don't pick up too much alcohol. Oh, no, but I get a kind of burning sensation. Oh, yeah, the heat. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the most <laughs> earthy and oak forward, woody, barrel aged barley wines I've ever had. Yeah. Really interesting. I mean, this is definitely because it's so woody, uh, oaky, and all that. I think it's definitely one you need to share. Yeah, I wouldn't drink this by myself. That would be too intense. <laughs> Not at all. It's such an intense beer. And actually, also the more I drink it, the more I pick up on the bourbon. Like just a straight up bourbon flavor. Yeah. Now that we've been sipping on it for a little, it it does feel a little bit boozy actually. Yeah, but, but it's more of a heat, I'd say, than a yeah. boozy flavor per yeah. se. Yeah, we're actually talking about it because. I can kind of get a, a lot of heat note in the back of the throat. It's it's pretty good, but you can get better barrel aged party wines. But uh, rating wise for me, I'm going to go 88 on it. I think it's a really good beer. And I'm just so impressed that it's so woody and earthy. I think it's insane. I'm sure this has been a big hoppy party wine when they released it first. Yeah, I agree. Uh, big hoppy party wine. Great beer. Uh, 85. This is a pretty. Good beer. But yeah, guys, that does for the beer review of the Oakshire Hillshire One. Uh, different, very, very woody and earthy barley wine. Uh, yeah. Definitely let us know what you think of this one if you've had it, uh, especially fresh. Yeah. So yeah, guys, remember to let us know as always. Remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. cheers. We're going to see you guys in another beer review.